Hello, you creative bunch. Thanks for stopping by. Um, this character, I called him Leo Blom, really quick pencil sketch. I love the energy in it. And as soon as I'd drawn it, I thought, right, I've got to do something with that. There was something in it. I thought, yes, do you know, I really like this. It's dead simple. I'm going to do something with it. So um, in this video, I'll show you what I did do with it. Uh, like I said, I named him Leo Blom. I've been watching Vikings, the series recently, and I've been uh, really influenced by some of the names going on there. Hence this surname, Blom. It's kind of a uh, Nordic name. Um, and I've been messing with names quite a lot recently. I like Japanese, uh, the mixture of Japanese and Nordic sounding names, or even Celtic sounding names as well. So I've been playing around with names as well as illustrative things and uh, bringing them all together. Which is the way of a creative, really, if you think about it. Yeah. After I'd scanned him and started working on him, I took it into the iPad in Procreate. I recreated it with a pencil brush, um, keeping that energy. And I wanted to turn him into one of twins. Uh, and then I quickly decided that he was going to be a prince. So and I've named them Prince Leo and Dio Blom. Uh, prince of what, you may ask? Not sure. Yeah, could be anywhere. Could be anything. Let's keep it Nordic. Yeah, maybe they're Nordic princes, but I'm getting off track. Anyway, yeah, so messing around with this image, really liked it. Um, when, once I'd got it to a certain stage, um, I was I got to a point where I struggled with the background a little bit, so I thought, what am I going to do with this? Um, and then I started adding the butterflies. And I'll explain to you why I did that in the video. Um, anyway, I'm waffling. So go and have a look at how this came together, and I'll see you soon. Take care. So here's the original sketch um, that I liked. I just love the energy in it. Um, so I took it, like I said, I took it to Procreate and recreated it with a pencil brush. At the moment, I'm loving pencil. Um, really, really loving pencil and the marks it makes. So I'm using them probably more often than pens at the moment. As I said, turned him into one of a pair of twins. And now I'm just going through the uh, color process, doing the color flats. And I always like looking back on these things and and looking at the decisions that I made early on, like the background colour, because that all changes, as you'll see in a moment. But just going through this kind of colour process that I always do, thinking about the shade texture, certain additions, uh, and just putting detail into the character, which I love doing. It's such a great process to get involved with. Um, this journey that you go on with art and the decisions you make in real time. So that's the iPad bit done, and then I take it into Photoshop. I made the canvas slightly wider in Photoshop, and as you can see, um, the guy, the prince on the right, Dio, I've raised his head and his crown. Now, I forgot to press record on one of the processes, which was this background. So I've come back in and just turning on these layers to give you an idea of how it came together afterwards when I realized that I hadn't been recording. So I've put this background together, these vertical lines, these vertical colours, uh, using the dominant colour actually from the image. Um, and as ever, playing around with texture, it's one of my go-to things, is adding this kind of splat texture, something I really like, and just bringing it together. Um, I got to this stage and really liked it, but I've got that empty void in the background, so Another thing I like to do, which you've probably seen a lot of, is add sort of graphic elements. And this comes from my graphic design side, the things that I do. I love these kind of solid graphics, these solid objects that you can place in the background. They're good detail makers, and I find them quite interesting. Now here, what I've done is because the right head's been raised, I'm using these arrows to show that. And the left head, Leo character, arrows are going down to show that that's the head sort of compressed downwards slightly. 
just little things like that, little graphics that sort of echo um, aspects of the image. I think these are important sometimes. They're almost like sort of tiny narratives to do with the image. And then what I'm going to do now on a layer mask on these graphic additions um, using sort of splat brushes, texture brushes. I'm just taking a bit of the, the hard detail out. So back into uh, the iPad, I wanted to draw a load of butterflies, just dead quick. I was going to use silhouettes, but for some reason I decided to do sort of the rudimentary detail of the butterfly. Um, and I did them on separate layers in the iPad and then just exported the image out. And then I could sort of place each butterfly where I wanted it to be in the background. So this is that process now. And it's just a process of deciding where each one's going to go, how it's going to add to the composition. Then I just reproduced a couple made them a bit smaller just to sort of get some extra additional butterflies in there um, and then I got rid of the detail so I made them silhouetted now in terms of the narrative I quite like the fact that these two princes are, they're blind there's something in that they don't have pupils um, I like it as a, an illustrative kind of element to this image but I also sort of wanted to use it as part of the narrative They're aware of beauty, they're aware of their surroundings even though they're blind, um, which made sense of, about taking the detail out of the butterflies as well. Believe me, really loose narrative, but this is kind of where my head goes sometimes when I'm when I'm putting images together. So that's that was my thinking, that these two princes were blind um, and they were aware of their surroundings. They know who they are, they've got a sense of themselves, but they're also aware of um, the world around them and the beauty around them. Um, like I say, really loose, but I love this illustration, how it's come together. And there's the finished piece. No colourway changes this time, just as it is, I quite like it as it is. Leo and Dio Blom, the blind princes. Brilliant, thanks for stopping by, really appreciate it. Um, you know what to do, hit subscribe, hit the bell for updates, and like this video if you've liked this video, and I will catch you next time. Be good, stay creative, have a fantastic day. Catch you later.